My name is Don, I'm a cabinet maker. The reason why I chose cabinet making, I was good with working with my hands. Um, and then my father-in-law who taught cabinet making at a high school, um, his basement was full of tools. So went down there, built a bunch of furniture and said, well, this is my goal in life now. I love my job. I look forward every morning coming into the college, working with uh, cabinet making students. And from the first day when they come in to the final day they leave, it's a dramatic change on how their abilities to build stuff. And I get excited when I see the finished product. Some of the main responsibilities for a cabinet maker is always having good tools, sharp tools, um, be able to think on your feet because sometimes you're building something and it doesn't go together the way it should, uh, then you gotta be a good problem solver. A typical day for a cabinet maker is uh, break out material, um, be able to design cabinets or furniture, planing, and sanding and then at the end of it you might want to stain it, you might want to spray it with a lacquer. So all along the way there's different tasks you can do and use your hands and many tools. Cabinet makers don't just build cabinets, we deal with uh, teaching people how to use hand tools and hand planes, uh, chisels, hand saws and uh, we design furniture uh, from making drum tables to end tables to coffee tables out of different products of wood, whether it be maple, cherry, or, or mahogany. Um, it's a great feeling at the end of the day that you can walk away and if someone buys it, they're proud of what you've done and you're proud of what you accomplished. Some of the biggest misconceptions about skilled trades is a lot of people who think they have uh, learning disorders uh, cannot enter skilled trades, but I have a learning disability. I've worked all my life with this disability and there's accommodations that the employer could make, but over the years I've made my own accommodations for working, uh, especially now in the cabinet making program. There's lots of tools there. Uh, measuring tapes that read from 1 32nd to 1 8th up to uh, 1 inch. And a lot of people with learning disabilities who struggle reading a measuring tape, I suggest getting one of those. The advice I would give somebody going into the skill trades is uh, dabble in it a little bit first, find out if it's for you, uh, be passionate about it, be wanting to go to work every morning enjoying your job, uh, which I do. And at the end of the day, you know you've accomplished something and you can walk away proud.